Hello everyone. So today, let us learn how we can easily convert a PDF file to a text fi file. And this is really important, especially if you are uh, doing something on the terminal. And if you want to do something on the terminal and you are looking for ways to, let us say, uh, uh, work on your PDF files, maybe you are supposed to do some stupid job or maybe you're working for someone and uh, you have been given this task to convert PDF files to a text format. You can do that uh, with the help of uh, simple terminal based utilities. And today I want to show you one such utility that I found and I have used this utility and it works really well. Now, this is a PDF file, by the way, this is basically a file where uh, I have some content and by the, by the way, this is my file. I uh, used to do a lot of trainings, corporate trainings for uh, various clients in India and uh, I used to send them this particular uh, PDF file. And this particular PDF file is of course uh, uh, nothing but uh, a very simple file with uh, only text. And this text can of, of course be copied, but you know that when you're, when you're copying anything from PDF to your clipboard or maybe if you just do a control a control c control v uh, the format is of course uh, always disturbed and it might not also work if you um, if you are probably doing it for uh, hundreds of pdf files i mean doing it manually is fine but imagine that you have to convert a pdf file to a text file and you also have to do some further formatting and that is your job because people do this for living i know that and uh, this is something that you can definitely automate or at least uh, save time uh, by of course writing a simple maybe a shell script but the the utility that i want to talk about is uh, this one uh, pdf to text and this particular utility is of course uh, uh, a command line terminal based utility to use this utility all you need to do you need to first of course install it and uh, installing it on uh, on arch base system is actually very easy if you look at the github repository it says uh, pip install pdf to text so basically if you are on uh, i mean it, it will work on mac it will work on windows because uh, i believe it will uh, rely on python and uh, using pip install you can install it but on arch uh, you can also install it using one uh, package called as poplar so let me just try to do it uh, so if you do pseudo pacman and type in here uh, poplar if if you of course the password which is very important so this utility this package uh, poplar contains uh, pdf to text so i'll probably not install it and uh, what i'll do i'll probably just uh, so let us open the pdf file and uh, let us take a look at the PDF to text uh, man page because you should read the manual, read the manual if you're trying to do something before uh, asking others because you that is why manual is for you can read it to understand what has to be done. So if you look at the manual here, it says here, uh, uh, I mean, by the way, on top, the name of the, the, the utility then of course synopsis where it says uh, pdf to text options pdf file text file so basically it is very simple to use you may specify some specify some options to uh, do few things few additional things but you basically need to pass in two arguments pdf file the path to pdf file and uh, the text file that you want to generate so let us uh, first look at uh, one file uh, basically this file that i that i have on the right hand side so this particular file is nothing, nothing but a simple file, PDF file with two columns, all text. And I could have used a simple PDF file because that always works, but I wanted to show you this uh, uh, PDF file with two columns. So to to run this command, I will, and, and by the way, this particular file is in my temp directory. So let us run this. So PDF to text, and uh, I will use the location, which is, uh, in my time directory and i have to also specify the output file name which is let us say output.txt so this is of course a simple command and if you run this that is it and if you look at the file um it should have uh, 
the details of the PDF in a text format. And this is the file. But it is, as you can see, it is not really amazing because uh, it looks weird. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then of course you have the actual text. So it is still good because, you know, oh, I mean, by the way, this is something that you can do from terminal. So you can script it, you can actually do it in bulk. And uh, maybe you can have a folder with multiple files. I, I think I've talked about this uh, in my video where I showed how to do something on all the files within a folder. So you can write a simple shell script using a loop and uh, maybe do it in bulk. But in this case, we want to preserve the layout. And uh, fortunately, if you look at uh, the man page of uh, PDF to text, there is an option here called uh, and by the way, you have other options like specify the first page, specify the last page, and uh, specify the resolution. So you have options. I mean, it is not just a simple utility. You can actually uh, use these options, additional arguments to maybe, maybe you're working on, a, on multiple PDF files, but for some of those files, you just want to uh, extract this information from first two pages or whatever. So you, you can do those things. Uh, the thing that I wanted to, talk, wanted to talk about was the layout. Now layout says here, maintain as best as possible the original physical layout of the text. The default is to undo physical layout, columns, hyphenation, etc. and output the text in a reading order. So let us try this. And uh, I'll go back to the command and uh, I'll use the layout here. And uh, that is it. Let us take a look at the file very quickly and uh, hopefully this will be much better and oh i think i do I need to uh, specify hyphen layout okay let us try again hyphen layout it looks good and uh, okay let us try this with cat not really. I, th I think let me just delete the file first. Temp output dot txt, and let us try the command again one more time, and hopefully it will preserve the layout for us. Output ah uh, come on, I'm basically using a different. Fi yep, this one is this one is good. So I think I sh I, sh I should should have probably deleted this. Let me just get rid of this file and uh, run the command again but this time hopefully it will go to the right directory temp dot temp within temp directory in my home home in my home so let us take a look now okay so this is if you look at this i mean of course it is not perfect but uh, just do a comparison of uh, the text file and your uh, and your uh, file, the PDF file that you have on the on the uh, right hand side. It is quite similar. Basically, it is in text format, and uh, this is of course just one simple way of doing it. You can take a look at other arguments that uh, you have in your uh, in your uh, PDF to text utility. If you read the manual. I think you can do other things and uh, these, these additional options uh, are there for you to maybe customize the output to exactly what you need uh, in your in your actual text file. So do take a look at this and I wanted to make this video because I think uh, I, uh, I think this can be really useful especially if you are uh, using terminal based applications and you are doing something where you are probably wasting time doing it manually. So don't do it manually. Use these applications, these utilities to save your time and uh, use that time to do something great. And that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.